Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a nice demo from deep learning in MATLAB. I was looking for uh, a code that can detect a license plate in a car and then recognizes the text on it. So if you want to detect the um, license plate number of a car, let's say in a surveillance camera, and I found something on the MathWork uh, file exchange, but um, that needed to uh, train or retrain the yellow v3 network and i here wrote a code that does it differently so the way it does it is you first read an image in let's say this is coming from your uh, camera and you use the pre-trained yellow uh, v3 object detector now in order for this to work you need to have the uh, support package for this from the computer vision uh, to be installed okay so you need to install the computer vision support package for yolo uh, v3 otherwise uh, this command is not going to work so first you need to uh, install the support package and then there are a couple of options here there is one is darknet there is another nets that are pre-trained and one of the categories that are inside the labels or or the groups is cars and that is what we want there is no group license plate okay so if you want to yolo to detect license plate you have to add that group okay so you have to do basically transfer learning and add i have a video for that on my channel you can see if you have a pre-trained network specifically a, a convolution neural network you can basically um, uh, use this especially the first layers of it and uh, modify the end of it so you can uh, do it for a new category of objects including license plate but that needs a lot of training data and a lot of time training it so if you don't want to do that here we just first detect the cars okay so first we create an uh, detector object and then use the method detect and apply this detector that is darknet 53 coco of yolo we apply it to the image okay it gives us three things back the labels the scores and the bounding boxes okay so when i run this if i run this portion for you just this portion you can see that it is going to detect some objects for me, bus and two cars. Now, what is the image? Let's take a look at the uh, image here. So the image is taken from a surveillance camera and there are two cars that it can detect here and here. That one is occluded by this. And then there is the bus. So clearly it detects the object. Okay. Now I'm only interested in the cars. And in this code, I want to only focus on the biggest car, the one that is the closest to the camera. So I want to focus on this car and find this area and read it and then add it as the picture title. I want to see if I can recognize this. Okay. So the first thing is out of these three labels that I have, and these labels are a categorical array. I have to first find these two that I'm interested in, and then between these two find which one is the bigger car. So look here, I say go ahead and go from one to the length of labels and compare the label II and now label II, this, it says car, but it's not a character, okay? It's not a string. So you convert it, you do a typecasting here, convert it to the character car so we can compare it to this car with the string compare. And if that is a car, then the uh, index of that will be added to the car index. So here, your car index starts at empty. But when you're done, when you're done with this part, your car index should be what? Two and three, right? So look here. If I run this portion of the code, now if you look at this guy here, you see that now it says objects two and three are uh, basically the car so we have to focus on the bounding box of those two objects so now what would you do you get the bounding boxes of those two indices okay and you store it in this car b boxes and uh, the first two numbers are the bottom left corner of the bounding box the third and the fourth number are the width and the height of it so clearly you see that this bottom one car number three is much bigger than car number 
2. So here we have to only focus on this guy. How do you do that here? We basically multiply car box 3, column 3, by column 4 to get the area of the bounding box. And then we find the maximum of them and we find the maximum index. And then we say largest car box is car boxes of the largest index. Okay, yeah. So here, of course, my car boxes are not empty. So I'm going to go with this. And if you look here, you see that the larging bounding box is this guy, which is for car three. So now... I'm not going to look at the entire image that I read. I'm going to only focus on the portion of the image that is inside this bounding box. So you have to crop that area out. And you also have to uh, do an annotation on that region. Here I do it with the red rectangle as you can see. And with the text car. And line with three you can of course make it bigger. And then you add that red rectangle around the biggest car. So you do an annotation here with the method insert object annotation and create this image that you're going to show at the end called detected image. Now you say the largest car image is what? Crop that image with that largest car bounding box. Now you're, on, you're going to focus only on this region of the image. Then what? Now you have to detect the text within that big car here, okay? So if I run this portion for you, now if I show you this guy, right? If I say I am show and then show that, you can clearly see that, you see, out of that whole image, it's just this biggest car that it is focusing on. And of course, if I show the detected image, that should be the original image while the red box is overlaid. The red rectangle is overlaid on the biggest car. Look here. You see? And here you can see the text car, of course, too small, right? If I increase this uh, thing to 10, maybe, that can do a little bit better. So let me see. This one can do better. Eh, still not really. It's the line width of this really, not the line width of the text. You can change the font size here, of course, if you want. Okay, now that we have this region, I use the second neural network here. It's called the craft. And the craft is to detect uh, the text. So this uh, neural network is trained to detect text. So I pass that region to it and this um, pre-trained network called craft, it's going to give me the text region. So now if I run this, it is going to give me what? It is going to give me the text region. Okay. And of course it takes a little bit of time because this is a heavy network and it should give you a text region. You see, I ran the command twice. So this is the region that has text inside that car. And now if it's not empty, then for any region, I'm going to add what? I'm going to add a green rectangle to it. And on that rectangle, I write license plate. So now my detected image will have a red box around the car. And around any area of text, it's going to have green rectangles. Once I do that... Now, I'm going to go to each and every one of these regions, each and every one of these text regions, and then what? I'm going to crop that region out of the car. So, I'm going to only focus on that text region. Now, here, you see that the first detected text region is considered, although you can use a for loop and do it one by one, but here, only the first region, the first text region in the car is considered. Assuming that you only have one on it, otherwise you have to use several. So here we assume there is only one text region on the car, and that's the license plate. And you crop that region, so now your region is just like just the license plate. And now you pass it to the OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, which I have a video for that. If you want under Computer Vision, you can uh, take a look at that, a Playlist Computer, or just search it on my channel. And now it should give you the text. Now we get the text data out of it. 
and trim it to make sure there is no uh, space before or after that that is going to be license plate text which we are going to convert it to the title of the picture and with this print f and we're going to show it as the title of the picture and if there is nothing then we say no car is detected in the image or no text detected in the largest car so this code is considering everything no car detected if there is a car no text detected and if there is then show it as the title of your picture or it can display it in the command window okay so here let's run the whole code and there we go you see here that's the entire image it looked at the biggest car that's it here you can see that is your license plate here and this is the license plate number and there we go look t935 ak797 and you see it is doing a perfect job so i'll upload this uh, code and give you a download link under video description as well as the test image and let you play with it and learn from it hopefully this video was useful to you thank you and see you in the next video